everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at how to use six figure grid references. Now, I have recently just done a video, I've put the link in the description box below on how to use four figure grid references referring to OS maps. My advice is to watch that video first so you have a good understanding of how to find a four figure grid reference and then we can move on to six figure grid references. So just like in my four figure grid reference video, I explained that we use grid references when it comes to using OS maps, which we use a lot in geography. And we can even use them when we are going hiking or doing Duke of Edinburgh awards. So it's a really important skill to know and to use when it comes to finding and locating features on OS maps and being more specific if you are out in the field and you are exploring so you know where you are actually located as well. So we're going to start this video off in stages of how to find a six figure grid reference. So let's jump straight in to the first stage of how to find a six figure grid reference. So we're going to start off really basic when it comes to six figure grid references and we're not even going to start by looking at OS maps. What we're going to do is we're going to use this graph paper with a grid square set drawn on. So I'm going to throw up a bitmoji and what we're going to do is we're going to start with step by step instructions of how to locate this bitmoji in its specific region. This is completely different to four figure grid references. I'm not just interested now which grid square it's located in. I'm interested in whereabouts within that grid square it is located in. So let's get started. So just like with four figure grid references, the first thing we need to do is locate the grid square that the feature or in this case bitmoji is located in. Then we need to locate our bottom left hand corner, our best friend. We ignore the other three, they are your mortal enemies. We go along the corridor first of all and find the line that links to our best friend. So we then associate the two numbers, five, six, with that particular line. Now, when it comes to six figure grid references, we're now after a third number in the along the corridor stage. And this is where I like to divide the grid square into half. Now, this is obviously much easier to do right now because we have this graph paper behind our grid square, which is exactly why we're doing this particular instruction first. So I've drawn my imaginary dashed line down the middle. So that would indicate five. And what we need to do is basically take tiny, small steps along now the corridor again, but of that grid square. We've basically divided that square into 10, 10 little squares. So every one step I'm taking, that's an extra one. So as you can see, I have taken seven little steps before being in line with my bitmoji. So in this case, the third number to make this a six figure grid reference or the start of it at least is seven. So our along the corridor number will read five, six, seven. Then we go back to our instructions for four figure grid references. We go up the stairs and we find the line that links to our best friend, in this case, 18. I then do the same thing by splitting my box in half and then taking small steps up the side of my grid square until I am in line with my bitmoji. In this case, again, I have taken seven small steps to reach the bitmoji, in which case the number will be seven. So as you can see on the screen, we've now got six numbers, five, six, seven, one, eight, seven. And that is a six figure grid reference. So let's try it again. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna move that bitmoji and we're going to find the grid square that that bitmoji is located in. Then we're going to locate our bottom left hand corner, our best friend. And then we're gonna go along the corridor and find the line that links to our best friend. In this case, it is associated with the number five, five. Then we're after that third number to turn this into a six figure grid reference. So we imagine that we're cutting that grid square in half and we're taking even little steps to reach that location, bitmoji or feature. In which case I've taken nine steps. Then we go up the stairs we find the line that links to our best friend again, in which case the number is 18 linked to that line. And now we're after the sixth number to turn this into six figure grid reference. Now you'll notice here that the bitmoji is actually located on the very first part of that grid square. So we don't actually have to move up any steps in this case. So if that is ever the case, 
it is always zero. So you can see here, we've got a six figure grid reference of five, five, nine, one, eight, zero. Okay, so before we move on, we're gonna do it one more time. So I've moved the Bitmoji. We're gonna locate that grid square. The Bitmoji is in. We're gonna find our, our best friend, our bottom left hand corner. We're gonna go along the corridor to find the line that links to our best friend. We're gonna write down the first two numbers and then we're gonna look for that third number to turn it into a six figure grid reference by splitting that grid square in half if you need to, but in this case, it's on the line, so we don't have to take any steps, in which case it is the number zero. Then we go up the stairs, we find the line that links to our best friend, which is number 19 in this case, and now we're after that sixth number by taking small steps up our grid square to locate that bitmoji which leaves us with a six figure grid reference in this case of 560195. So let's increase the challenge now. So I'm gonna remove the actual graph paper from behind the grid square. We're still gonna locate these bitmojis. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna practice before we move on to looking at doing this with an OS map. So we'll first off, we'll throw a bitmoji in there. And we do the same steps. So we find the grid square the Bitmoji is located in. We locate that bottom left hand corner, our best friend. We go along the corridor. We find the line that links to our best friend for the first two numbers. In this case, it is a two and a four, 24. Then we're after that third number. So we split the grid square in half with that imaginary line. We take small steps to approximate where our bitmoji is in relation to that line. So I'm gonna estimate here it's about an eight, could be a nine. Then we're gonna go up the stairs. We're gonna find the line that links to our best friend again. In this case, it is number 90, nine zero. We're gonna split our grid square in half again, and we're gonna take imaginary steps and estimate where that feature is in which case I am gonna estimate an eight. Again, could be a nine. It's not a perfect science, this. So you're just trying to get it as close as possible. So the grid square answer here is two, four, eight, nine, zero, eight. So hopefully we're getting the hang of this now. So let's have another go. So I've moved the bitmoji. We're gonna locate the grid square the bitmoji is located in. We're gonna find our best friend, our bottom left hand corner. We're gonna go along the corridor to find the line that links to our best friend. And we're going to write those first two numbers down, two, six in this case. Then we're gonna look for that third number to turn this into a six figure grid reference. So we're gonna halve our grid square. And again, we're gonna estimate whereabouts that bitmoji is in relation to that grid square. In which case I've estimated it's in the middle and therefore given it a five. Then we're gonna go up the stairs, find the line that links to our best friend, which is an eight and a nine. We're gonna split our grid square in half and again, estimate how many steps it would take to reach that bitmoji. So again, the answer for this one is 265892. Okay, just one more time. Find the grid square that the bitmoji is located in. Find your best friend. Go along the corridor. Find the line that links to your best friend. Write those first two numbers down. Then looking for the third number, we're going to split our grid square in half. Think about how many steps it takes. Then we're gonna go up the stairs. We're gonna find a line that links to our best friend, in which case nine zero. We're gonna look for that sixth number by dividing the square in half, estimating whereabouts it is. And we've got two five zero nine zero four. Okay, so we're gonna increase the challenge now. I'm gonna have a go at doing this on an OS map. So this is an OS map of Southport, and I'm gonna try and locate, using a six-figure good reference, this train station, this kind of pink-ish dot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna locate the grid square that the train station is in. I'm gonna find the bottom left-hand corner, our best friend. I'm gonna go along the corridor. I'm gonna find the line that links to our best friend. I'm gonna find that third number by again, dividing the grid square in half and estimating how many steps it would take to reach that particular feature. 
So I'm going to estimate it will take a six because it's over halfway in that grid square. Then we're going to go up the stairs. We're going to find the line that links to our best friend, that bottom left hand corner. We're going to split the grid square in half to find this sixth number. Or in this case, I don't need to take any steps because the train station is right on that grid square line. So we have an answer here of 356170. So hopefully we're getting the hang of these now. So we're going to have one more go on this OS map. So we're going to locate this lovely church here. We're going to locate it by finding, first of all, the grid square it's located in. We're going to find our bottom left hand corner, our best friend. We're going to go along the corridor and find the line that links to our best friend. Then we're going to split the grid square in half with an imaginary line that would indicate five. And we're going to estimate how many steps it would take to reach that church. Then we're going to go up the stairs. We're going to find the line that links to our best friend. We're going to split the grid square in half again. And we're going to estimate how many steps it would take to go up to reach our church, in which case we've got a six figure grid reference of 341158. So all of those instructions we've previously just gone through are about you giving a six figure grid reference. But in a GCSE exam or in a geography class, you might be asked to find a feature that is at a particular point using a six figure grid reference. So let's say I give you a six figure grid reference of three, two, five, one, eight, two. And what I want to know is what feature is located at that particular point on my OS map. So in this six figure good reference, let's look at these first two numbers first. So this 32, this three and this two, is the number that relates to the numbers at the bottom of our OS map. Now I'm going to draw a nice line that corresponds with this line 32 all the way up our map, as I find this is the easiest way to locate a grid square when using six figure grid references. Then I want to put a box around the number one eight. For now, I'm just going to ignore the five in the middle. And the one and the eight relate to a number at the side of our map. And then I'm going to draw a nice line across so I can see where these two lines cross over because this locates our bottom left hand corner and therefore our grid square. So I now have located my grid square and I'm going to go ahead and divide the grid square into half and then half across. And what it allows me to do is locate where that particular feature is five little steps across along the corridor and two steps up. This six figure good reference is therefore referring to the pier in this particular case. So let's have another go with another six figure grid reference. So this time, if I give you the grid reference three, five, seven, two, zero, four, again, we're going to locate the feature that is found at that particular six figure good reference. So we're going to take our first two numbers first, that three and that five, that relate to a number along the corridor at the bottom of our map. I'm going to draw a nice line all the way up to show where that line is. Then we're going to ignore the seven and take the next two numbers, that fourth and fifth number, the two and the zero, because that relates to our up the stairs line at the side of the map. And I'm going to draw a nice line across. Where these two lines cross over, that locates our best friend and that bottom left hand corner of the grid square. We're then going to split the grid square in half one way and half the other way to try and estimate seven steps across and four steps up what particular feature we will find. In this case, it's a lovely feature of a bird, which is referring to a nature reserve. So that concludes how to find and also locate features using six figure good references. They are difficult at first, but the more you practice, the better you will get at them. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.